Welcome to a Python speed tutorial by Synthetic Programming. This is tutorial number four, a compilation of the knowledge gained in tutorials one through three. If you haven't watched those, there'll be a link in the description for each of them. And for this project, just to practice the skills we've learned, we're going to be modeling a real world function uh, by creating our own function. And this function will be used to calculate the amount that you would have to pay each payment to pay off a loan with interest, um, assuming that there are no extra costs involved. So for this function, as you can see here, P, which is the amount you'd have to pay for each payment, um, is equal to, or P0 here, is the initial principal or the initial amount that the loan was, was, was taken out on. So say you take out a loan for $1,000. P sub zero is that a thousand dollars. That times the rate, or the percentage rate used each payment, or the amount that the 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 initial amount goes up by per payment on the loan, and then that times the quantity again one plus r to the nth power, where n is the number of payments. That divided by again one plus the rate to the nth power minus 1, this whole thing is equal to P, which is the amount you'd have to pay for each of those payments to pay off the loan completely. So to get started, we should set three variables. One variable for the top of the division, one for the bottom of the division, and then one for our final answer, P. So let's start off by defining our function APR. And because we're going to need three inputs, p sub 0, r, and n, we're going to be using x, y, and z. Let's set our first variable for the top of the division. That's a. So a is going to be equal to a quantity. That quantity should start off with this is going to be our x, our y, and our z. So we're going to start off with x times y times the quantity 1 plus r, or y, because y is our variable for r. And then that raised to the power of n, or z in our case. So we'll put that in parentheses as well, just to make sure that everything lines up correctly. And that is the top of our division. That goes down here. b, the second variable, is equal to the bottom of our division, which starts off with 1 plus y to the power of z minus 1, so 1 plus y to the power of z, and then this quantity minus 1. Now again, we're going to close this all off with parentheses, and there you have the bottom of our division. The variable c, our final answer, is equal to a divided by b. And then we'll have the function return c. There we go. So let's test it out. APR of, it'll prompt us with x, y, and z. Say you need to pay off, you took out a loan that was $50,000 with an interest rate of 0.02% and you want to pay it off in 25 payments or let's do 24 every month for two years hit enter and it returns the amount that you would have to make each payment $2,643.55 or 56 if you round. 
So, there you have it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more tutorials coming up soon. This tutorial was simply a compilation, and hopefully it was good enough practice that you feel comfortable with the first three lessons. See you later.